What's up guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Hope you're having a great day today and you're on your best lives all day every day. So basically what's happening is I'm going to be starting this uh, new series where I'm recording advice that I feel that most college students and even students who are going to start college soon should and do know. So this week's video is pretty obvious if you read the title. I'm going to give a rundown of some of your careers you could choose, what makes them so great, and if they're the best suited for you. So if you're excited to learn a little more about yourself, and maybe even find out what you want to be in the future, go ahead and drop a like, subscribe if you aren't already, and turn on post notifications for the next time I post a new video. So, with that said, let's get into the video. So, the first major I'm going to talk about is education. Now, education is essentially the major that students will choose if they want to be an educator, aka a teacher. It could also be if they have an interest in a job in school. This is a great major um, if you're someone who has interest in learning or even helping to serve as someone who can make a difference in kids' lives. Now, I won't say that education is the easiest of majors, and that's why I chose it first, but I will say that education, as compared to something like, say, being a doctor is uh, is definitely less stressful. Not to mention that the minimum requirement to be a teacher is to have a bachelor's degree. So, yeah. And this can vary depending on what kind of teacher you want to be. For example, if you want to be an elementary school teacher, or a lower than that, a bachelor's degree is really all you need. Like that's all that's required. But if you wanna be a, what's a good example? Um, a middle school history teacher, or I don't know, maybe a chemistry high school teacher. If you wanna be something like that, that will require you to study a little bit extra. But hey, Look on the bright side, at least now, you won't have to cram too much info about the quadratic formula, or how mitochondria is the powerhouse of the cell, or whatever else there is. Unless, of course, you are, you know, being a math or science teacher. In which case, have fun with that, while I'll be over here doing... Psychology. Psychology is currently the major that I myself am pursuing and happens to be one of the easiest majors to pursue when compared to something as stressful as the medical field. This major is a really good choice for students who, like me, want to work with uh, people and also want to give good advice on how to better handle stress and other situations. A great thing about psychology that I find out, that I found out as a psychology student, is that it can branch into so many things, so many different career paths. Like, um, you could be a counselor, which I also hope to be, uh, a therapist, HR, a research assistant, and so much more. Interestingly enough, Undergrad students who are seeking a higher degree in like uh, law, medicine, business, uh, and a bunch of other fields like that, they can use psychology as their base. Because think about it, as being a lawyer, for example, or even a judge, will require you to have a good understanding of human behavior 
to see if the excused is guilty or not. Not saying you should immediately dive into psychology, uh, since I told you to. And I'll be honest, I'm kind of biased since that is indeed my major. Uh, but if you do choose to, uh, that's a great idea for you because you definitely can do a lot with this major. I will give just one quick piece of advice. Um, be sure to get a good internship relating to psychology and or HR sometime after you decide to be a psych major. Once you do that, you are well on your way. Engineering. Low key, I have to be honest, I'm kind of jealous of engineers because while I, as a psychology student, have so many different career paths to choose from, engineering, depending on what kind you use or choose to use, has a lot more offers in America. And I'm not just talking like internship, I'm talking job jobs. Like engineering involves a lot of hard work, hands-on work, and a lot of great experience, which definitely makes it quite a great major to choose, honestly. You can choose to work in an office, a construction site, a lab, especially if any of you are considering being a biomedical engineer, which means you can help with uh, the MRIs of a hospital, or uh, if you want to be a software engineer, it could be uh, you can help fix laptops, or any other tech savvy problems. Like, engineering has unlimited potential and unlimited job that you can go for. Engineering is actually low key, a pretty good major to choose if you want to. But I will admit right now that if you do choose it, you have to do really good with the following courses. Math, science, and you have to have a basic understanding of engineering itself. And especially math and calculating, which if y'all didn't know by now, I am very, very, very terrible at, which obviously is the real reason why I did not choose something like engineering or the medical field. Otherwise, low key, I could possibly see myself trying to be an engineering major or something related to engineering or business. Okay, so we're, hmm, we're gonna have to cut this short because once again, I'm trying to make all my videos uh, below 15 minutes, 20 minutes, preferably 10. Um, and I don't know if y'all, if my thing is like that, but it already looks like it's about past that time. So, yeah. What's gonna happen is I'm gonna make a part two and three and four of this very soon. So what I want you guys to do is to basically comment down below what other majors that you think I should talk about. It could be journalism, it could be uh, marketing, it could be pharmacy, philosophy, business, uh, bio, chem, physics, heck, I might even throw in the medical field in there, because that definitely is a big popular major, so there's that. So be sure to comment those down below. Because I will tell you right now, I will be rating all of them and judging which one is arguably the best one for you guys. Now, once again, I'll just say this right now. Because I think I mentioned this in the previous video itself. Um, if you guys already decided your major, that's great. Keep that. Don't let me sway your opinion. Because once you got it down, and it's your personal choice, go for it, honestly. But if you're someone who was like me, who 
is very unsure of their major, or if they're not even sure what major would be best suited for them, uh, definitely go ahead and like this video, subscribe if you haven't already, and turn on post notifications for the next time that I post part two of this video. So with that said, hope you guys have a great day today, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace out, guys.